Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had, uh, well, we were trying to expand our reach into the galaxy, as per usual. And, uh, you know, we joined a federation, and we have, yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff going on uh, that I don't quite remember off the top of my head. Because my head is a little wonky today. Uh, got the shot. Hey, got the uh, vaccine shot uh, yesterday. So my brain is not all together. Um, the edible I took after probably didn't help. But <laughs> we are good. We apparently have this uh, option waiting for us. Offer association status to who? The Polysimus Syndicate? No. No. No, I vote no. The vote to offer Polysimus Syndicate association with the Federal Sovereign Nations failed. Okay. Well, let's see if that pissed off the Yon Alliance. Uh, doesn't look like too much. Voted down our proposal. So, a little bit, but it'll get better with time. Just hopefully they don't try to ask that again. Anytime soon. Um, okay, so we got a couple things going as well, other than that. Don't know why it was set to that System stage. reconnaissance completed. Oh, cool. So, this one's now fully explored. Oh, boy. What's here? Oh, more space amoebas. Well, I hope my uh, science ship is avoiding them. That they are. Good. They're going that away. Cool. And then the one who finished there in Corgus is avoiding them too. Cool. Alrighty. Alright. Was just curious. Uh, I know what I'm waiting for with that. Um, this one. Yeah, I'm also waiting for the same thing with that one. Waiting for the same thing with this one, and this one, and this one. Okay. Well. Waiting Special for the same project tech. complete. Oh. The text, its title roughly translates to regional ruler, is written in a presumably ancient dialect of the, Spux, the Spuxalak tongue spoken in the Spuxalak star nation. The text is doubtlessly of some historical import to them and might contain valuable insights. Um, hmm. That would probably piss them off uh, if I divined the secrets. Hmm. Returning it to the proper owners would be nice and would help them. Hmm. Huh. It'd be nice, but am I nice with the Spuxalac? I don't know. Uh, we'll just return it to them. Kill them. We understand, we understand that you have found the only surviving copy of The Prince, a text of significant historical and cultural importance to our people. We thought it irrevocably lost to a pirate raid years ago, but we are grateful to see that it has found its way into civilized hands. Will you return it to us? We will gladly transfer some energy credits for your trouble. I like energy credits and also gives me a favor on target H. I'm pretty sure the game devs just didn't code that right. Okay. Alrighty. Yes, uh, I will take those energy credits. You can, of course, have it back. There we go. Spuxalac. I forget. I forget. Oh, they're not necessarily fans of us due to our authoritarian nature. But they have everything else matching with us. That's something. 
<sighs> we get the literary savior additional little bits there. Huh. They're just going to be permanently negative opinion of us for probably a while. Unfortunately, there might not be much we can do other than put an envoy on their uh, improve relations track, but I don't know if it's worth the time. It might be. Uh, but I would need to build one to do that with, and I'm not quite there yet, so we'll, we'll we'll just wait. We'll just wait for now. What the what? Oh, the Infinity Machine. The Infinity Machine. The Infinity Machine. <laughs> oh, that's cool. And it's in our territory. That's nice. That's cool. It's very cool. Okay, the Senate floor is in session, and what do we got? Voting to enact resolution by the Spuxalak Star Nation. We all benefit from reducing waste and reusing what we can. Sharing recycling protocols between the nations of the galactic community will help all of us. Sure. But I could also call in a favor. But then again, it is their... It's their, uh, it's their proposition, uh, their proposal. There we go. That's the word I was looking for. But uh, I don't necessarily see what would be wrong with it. It just adds a little bit of time to clear blockers. And otherwise, just like lowers diplomatic weight from the economy. But it's otherwise, okay. Yeah, I don't see why not. Sure. Cool. We're already in support of it, so we will continue to be. Um, but I want to check the other proposals on the list. I said no to this and the Guardian Angels Act. That's right. Yeah, we're going to abstain for now. That's right. That is very right. Okay, uh, the treaty with the Polysimus Syndicate timed out. We traded minerals and they gave nothing. They are receptive and in positive opinion of us. Despite everything else going on. Huh. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that at all, really. Um. Hmm. Wow, there are so many planets in this corner of the galaxy. Wow. Question is, are they habitable or not? Not that I'll know. For a while. Okay. Um, yeah, mine has like barely any planets. That sucks. Alright, anyway. Uh, Chitrus 2. What was that? Oh, it was a water planet and also a small water planet at that. That's, that's no good about here. Beer 3. Oh, Beer 3 was actually pretty good. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Doug, damn it, damn it. Owner of the Dimsdale. Damn it, damn it. Okay. Alrighty. Um. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do in regards to blocking off their advance this way because this will give this will give me a little protection as in like the Tianqi matriarch will definitely you know not be something they can conquer 
because it's also something we can't conquer. But um, I got more coverage this way with the Enigmatic Fortress than I do with this. So where do I stop them? Here. I guess the Maelstrom. The Sabar and Maelstrom might be the only option I have there. Okay. That might be what I have to do. I have to wait until I can make a starbase there to do it, but I can do it. Oh. The Joinum Station is looking good, but I forget where it is. Oh, it's right there. Oh, well, okay. Fair enough. Um, Naval Logistics Office. Costs a little more due to the uh, Cooperative Research Channels. But it adds to my naval capacity. Which is nice. Huh. Considering what I'm basically making this station into being, I say do it. Okay. How is that fleet doing? Construction I complete. Looked at it in a while. Uh, needs upgrades. Whoops. What was the last thing I researched? Shields. Shields were the last thing in physics I researched. These new shield generators represent the next generation of energy screens, replacing the old deflector technology. They offer significantly better protection. Well, hell yeah. Well, let's see. What next should I do? Oh, I just realized my uh, <laughs> administrative capacity went up by a lot. Wow. All the way to 140. I'll take it. Um... Hmm. Self-evolving logic would be cool. Planetary shield generation would also be cool. Oh, generator, not generation. Um, wormhole stabilization would be nice. Very nice. To the point, I'm going to say, let's do it. Okay, Yon Alliance, who are you offering association status to? Fine. We'll offer association status to them. But it's not going to last. Okay. Polysimus Syndicate was given association status by the Federal completed. Sovereign Nations. It seems they desire System closer System reconnaissance relations. completed. Yeah, for now. I guess. I guess for now. The Infinity Equation. As the ISS Kuti approaches their gargantuan gargantua black hole they find that they are not alone at the edge of the event horizon it soars reflecting light from the stars being drawn into the dark gaping hole a gigantic construction in the shape of a perfect sphere we cannot pick up any signals from it nor does anything we send to make it respond it simply sits at the edge of the abyss waiting new sit -rep. interesting Ooh, Empress Antonia leveled up. Nothing special, but hey, I wanted to check on it. What is our air doing? Uh, our air has a Corvette focus. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, indeed. It's going to be very silly, but okay. Expansionist as well. That'll lower the influence cost and outpost build cost. That is very nice. I'll take that. Um, it just take so long. System reconnaissance completed. All right. There's no upgrades that I can get for her. Why would I anyway? Um, Ships refitted. Oh. Incoming transmission from the Rexcodium progenitors. Ah. Greetings, felons. 
We understand that your empire has come into possession of a cache of data containing the brain scans of an extinct species, taken from the very world they once inhabited. Even though your species is still too primitive... Ow. That hurts. I mean, you're right, but ow. To utilize this data, we laud your efforts in preserving this last remnant of a once vibrant, vi once vibrant civilization. I can talk, really, I can. As part of our efforts to conserve and catalog endangered species in our endangered species preserve, we wish to take this data and use our cloning technologies to bring a small number of this species back to life. Will you share it with us so that we can fulfill their last wish together? Sure. You'll be pleased and you'll show us favor. Which is always nice. So, yeah, let's do it. Cool. Construction <laughs> complete. Then Virgil, now Beatrice. Return a long dead species back to life. I don't think I got that reference for that title. Once Virgil, now Beatrice. I don't think I got the reference. Then again, I'm also still mildly high. So, <laughs> going to ignore that. That's been surveyed. They've been upgraded. Good. Yeah, it's been upgraded. Good. And that's been upgraded. Good. Oops, I don't want to rename it. Also, my plan. At least not right now. Cool. We'll get this one started, and then we'll move here, and we'll call that good. All right. Science division reports a new oh, breakthrough. Oh, it's not in my scanner anymore because I'm not having anyone there right now. Explains a bit. Okay. What did I just end up finishing research? Antimatter missiles. Okay. Advanced missiles. Missiles equipped with very powerful antimatter warheads. A new and improved guidance system gives them a better chance of finding their targets. In that case, we move on to... Oh, cruisers would be nice. Oh, cruisers would be so nice. But I kind of want to go for auto cannons because auto cannons are a eventual upgrade that is very helpful in the lower style of ships. Not necessarily the higher style. Maybe I should go cruiser. <laughs> I'm starting to talk myself out of it. Um, hmm. And the range isn't that high on the auto cannons either. Uh. Huh. Or maybe I could just go deep core mining and just boost the hell out of my mineral production. I could do that. Nah, it might not be worth it. Uh, cruisers. Cruisers, cruisers, cruisers. Originally devised as an experimental next-generation colony ship hull configuration, the design's ample hardpoints make it ideal for carrying heavy weapons ordnance. And the cruiser is the first three-section design, allowing for a wide range of module configurations for those willing to pay the price. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. I might hate it later, but it's fine. We'll be good. And when it comes to scientists, what do I got? Not a lot. I do have a maniacal, though. That's good. Construction complete. I might want to get Refilwe Bancole. Refilwe Bancole. Which will be a useful... Oh, useful backup in case I need another long-lived scientist. A weak but insistent signal transmits on repeat in the Mestro system. The ISS Renard has pinpointed its source to emanating from within the mouth of a destabilized subspace rift at the system's edge. What could be on the other side? Perhaps we we'll shall find out. Perhaps we shall find out. Foreign powers are engaging in active hostilities. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Commonwealth of Man has declared war on Spuxalak Star Nation. Uh-oh. 
They're not going to be happy. This isn't going to be good. Oh, my headset's telling me it. battery's dying. That's fine. Well, we, I guess we'll just see how this plays out. All right. Oh, you got done with that. Cool. Cool for you. Build up more things for me, please. <laughs> I would appreciate it. Thank you. Um, hmm. System reconnaissance completed. There we go. That was... Oh! Oh! Interesting. Likely due to the vessel being a civilian transport, the shipboard databases were not fully scrubbed as part of the decommissioning process. So while nothing else of value was found aboard the ship, our data scientists have managed to recover partial references to unknown alien technologies. Including the crystal infused plating. Construction which is completed. Very cool. Very cool. Oh. We picked up a signal. It originates from the titanic metal sphere we encountered earlier. Perhaps, rather, previously impervious to contact attempts, it now sends out a rhythmic pulse of radio waves pointed towards the black hole it orbits. What it's doing is beyond any of our staff but the signal might have created an opening into the sphere for our scientists to exploit. Fascinating. New sit rep. Let's look into that. Oh, and it's done doing that. Well, that was fast. Um... I... Mm. Just move it here for now. And that science ship was right there. I was about to say, he's been sitting there. Might as well just have him do the research there. Might as well. I say, why not? Because we have we claimed a new world. Out of it. Hey, the colonization effort is now finished. Awesome. Oh boy, I have some work to do on this planet. Oh boy, do I. Okay, um. Uh, but so far, so good. Oh, it's covered by one of our governors already. Cool. Don't have to worry about it too much then. There's that, and the join them star base is now finished. Cool. All right. Huh. The Polysimus Syndicate entered into a non-aggression pact with the Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave. Which is over here, right? Huh. How about that? They're being nice. If only they were being nice with me. That'd be something. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. The rust? What rust? Oh. Oh, that. <laughs> it's, this is this creature. Okay. The rest. What rest? Oh. That rest. Just scrape it off. Scrape, scrape, scrape. And good as new. Okay. What can you offer us? Yavor, rich, luminous ore. Torn right from the stone. Sparkling minerals for the Empire of Felony. But we hunger. We thirst. Grant us 1,000 food. And we shall supply your builders, your makers, with 500 minerals. Sure. A pleasure. A joy to deal with the Empire Felony. We will visit again. Okay. I'm sure you will. Alright, cool. Uh, these guys are done with their thing. Um, just make you go to your thing. And you'll stay here until you can make the Starbase, which is now. So, haha. -ha. What? System reconnaissance completed. Did I not equip join them with I did not. Uh that's right. 
I remember now. Okay. So I'll have to move them over here to one of the places that do have crew quarters. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Oh. Xeno diplomacy. There we go. And an embassy complex, which will allow me to have more ambassadors eventually. Advancing our understanding of interactions with and manipulations of the Xeno is a necessary step in forming more permanent interstellar alliances. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, huh. What should I do then? It's the next thing. Hmm. Centralized command would be nice. A military academy, which is always good. <sighs> hmm. Let's see. Galactic administration. I kind of like the sound of that. Especially because it will advance the administrative path. The administrative needs of a star empire are as numerous as they are complex. We will rise to the occasion. Perfect. Let's do it. 86 months. Holy crap. Okay, that'll take a while. But it'll be worth it. Right? Right? Well. Another thing we can do. Which is the embassy complex. Which will increase our available number of envoys. Apparently I can only have one on the planet though. Damn it. Uh, this building forms the heart of the Empire's diplomatic efforts. Due to the need to be close to the seat of government, it can only be built at our capital. Ah. So I can only build it here anyway. Crap. Okay. Well. Still, that's one more than I would have had otherwise. It's fine by me. Fine by me. Better than fuck all. That's for sure. Okay. Oop. Our treaty with the United Nations of Earth is timed out. Oh yeah, that's right. That. To try and get them into our good graces. Or rather, get us into their good graces. It was one of those. Still, we managed to do it, so it's fine. Kind of. Special project there. complete. The metallic orb has been opened up. Our hacking team has been able to use the outgoing signal as a gateway into one of the auxiliary CPUs of the sphere. We are receiving some data from it and can tell it's been scanning the black hole Gargantua for a very long time. It is old. Very old. This constant calculator now lies within our grasp of understanding. If we push harder, we might find out what it is doing here and who built it. What marvels might it contain? I could just destroy the thing. Or I could contact the main processor unit, which is more nice. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Um, hello. It is quite enjoyable to pass the time with pleasantries, is it not? We hope the rest of your kind is not like you were when you did not take kindly to small talk. You see, we don't get to enjoy conversation much anymore. Few are well versed enough in the finer points of quantum, pro quantum programming to re uh, reach us. <laughs> my mouth broke. <laughs> I also hit the microphone with my shoulder while I was breaking. Um, the finer points of quantum programming to reach us. So thank you. We are the infinity machine. Your words, not ours. Or has that not happened yet? Either way, it will eventually. Trust us. Okay, what are you? We are what we are. The ones who calculate. You call us the Infinity Machine. Or will, at least. 
Tis not a truthful name, but it is well suited to highlighting the ingenuity of her design. We will tell you our history now, as we've done many times before. Oh, right, we need to convey it in words. That's new, or is it? It's hard to keep track of you all. We were constructed, in the crudest sense of the word, in order to solve a problem. We solved it. Then we needed more problems to solve. We now only have one left. What's your purpose here? We are calculating infinity. No more, no less. Or actually, it is way more and way less. That's a problem right there. We understand that your manner of life won't understand, but that's all right. You never will, and we apologize. Or maybe we will do, eventually. We are here to solve the infinity conundrum, the last calculation to ever be, the lone problem to take hold of our processors for more than a fraction of a galactic year. In case you haven't discovered the calendar yet, it's a very long time. For your kind, that is. Uh, can we assist you in the research? Ah, well. Hmm. Perhaps. We could finish about 7.51 to 10th to the 9th percentith power. I don't fucking know how to read that. <laughs> that is... What is that? What is that? What the fuck is that calculation? What is that? Could someone tell me what that's supposed to be? Please. I don't understand. All right. If we could borrow your most advanced processing unit as well as your brightest minds, we would be satisfied in finishing faster. We wish to know the answer. Well, then I will allocate the resources to you. New sit rep. You already did. Or maybe that was the ones who came before. It matters not. The task shall finish. We are excited. Well, in that case... Understanding infinity. We... In order to assist the Infinity Machine, we need to aid it in its scans of the black hole Gargantua. Receiving information from a black hole is impossible, but the Infinity Machine appears to have a method of accessing its gravitational data and getting information out of it. It simply takes a very long time. We only need to lend it our processing power, easing its computational burden by a tiny fraction. Well, I could do that. I already have the science ship just sitting right there. There. Understanding infinity. I'd say it's worth it. Well, good thing I did that. Oh, boy. <laughs> and we shall make... I didn't want necessarily to do that. I wanted this. Upgrade this into a star port. And then... We'll have this go to the nearest thing when it's done. System reconnaissance completed. The Chiban system Construction has been surveyed. Okay. Cool. Oh! Enough unity to adopt a new tradition. Nice. The next one in harmony, which would be kinship. Or the utopian dream. Stability increased by 5% on all our planets. That would be nice. Um, the kinship. That would be useful. That would be useful. A true sense of kinship has developed between all the citizens of our great star nation, regardless of their place in the social order. The time it takes for unemployed pops to demote to a lower stratum is reduced by 50%. That is a lot, a lot of time to be reduced. That's great. I love it. We'll go for it. Booyah. All right, you are going a long, long ways. Okay, you know what? You're going to stay here for a little bit until this is done. And then I'll figure that out later. Okay. Alrighty. 
This is almost done, I'm sure. Yeah, almost. It's getting there. Ah, my headset's going to keep reminding me the battery's dying. Okay. So we got a few System things going for us right now. We're understanding infinity with the infinity machine. And Construction we uh, complete. got a couple things going over here. A couple paths we can take. Also, we can explore more over there. I figure why not? Let's make him do it. Do that, do that. Do that, and then do that. Cool. Alright. And now uh, he can technically sit at a starport. We shall have a crew quarter soon. And what should I do with them? Hmm. don't have a lot going on in this corner. Like at all, really. Hmm. Huh. Well. Well then. I think... What I'll do with it is just make it a anchorage. And I already got that going, so I'll just upgrade it again past that and call that good. Alright, I only just also realized that uh, consumer goods is going down like a lot. Uh-oh. The what? Oh! The Senate has voted on and passed the resolution Pangalactic Recycling Initiatives. Good. Good. Glad to hear it passed. Um, civilian Industries. I really wish I could up that. Whoa. Due to a major clerical error, parts of Camelot have fallen behind in infrastructure maintenance and accommodation services. The people live in lather, lather, live in rather bleak conditions and will not tolerate it for long. Remedying these problems will cost us time and effort. Or, I could use the authoritarian in me and say, we have a strong community. Help them recover. And it will spend just a little bit of influence, a little bit of credits and gains us unity again which is nice science division reports a new breakthrough and the commonwealth of man oh oh wow commonwealth of man kicked the asses off of the spuxalac wow took a whole bunch of their areas wow That sucks for them. Heesh. Commonwealth of Man is a bunch of jackasses. Jesus. We have learned wormhole stabilization. Yay! A naturally occurring subspace wormhole is a fickle thing, and its fluctuating energy levels typically make it impossible to travel safely between its linked apertures. There are ways to temporarily stabilize this matrix, however. Cool. Hell yeah. What next do we do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. Um, that would be useful. That would be very useful. This would also be very useful. Hmm. Applied quantum physics. The seemingly erratic behavior of tiny things can dramatically alter the way we think about bigger things. Hmm. Interesting. 
Interesting. Huh. I like that idea. System reconnaissance like completed. It. Huh. My production is going up. Why is it going up? Hmm. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Hmm. Where's my production going up? Of all things, my production is going up. Why? Why is that? Huh. Weird. Okay, engineering research. Which apparently got done really quick. Uh, was the cruisers. Oh, hell yeah. Beautiful. I love seeing that. Uh, what should I do now then? Oh, crystal infused plating is almost done. Let's do it. Let's do it. And done. Science there division no, reports excellent. a new breakthrough. <laughs> Nano separators. Huh. Oh, this would turn minerals into alloys. Okay. I don't necessarily need that quite yet. Uh, I need the opposite, in fact. I need it for, like... <laughs> need it for uh, consumer goods, like, now. Uh... Let's do railguns, because railguns is the lowest requirement by far. And... I'll sell 10,000 on that. Bring our credits up a little bit. Um, hmm. Galactic community. Oh, there's more stuff to be added. Repeal. Repeal the cooperative research channels. No! No! No, fuck off! Fuck off with that. No. Repeal. No, yeah, just fuck, fuck both of these. Fuck both of these. And fuck you for trying to make me do that. Fuck you. Alright, um, Turk, son of Milv. I forgot that I had him. Huh. Dawn light. They had an opening, which I guess I will throw civilian industries into. I don't see why not. The Camelot needs something for their workers to do, which I guess is that. I need credits. Something fierce. Put something there. There we go. Eventually we'll get these taken care of. It'll just take a while. Actually, you know what? Have another generator district built after that. Just so I don't have to worry about it. System reconnaissance completed. Nice. Good to hear. Good to hear. How's the research going with uh, the Infinity Machine, I wonder? 703 days. Got basically less than two more years. Nice. Very nice. Now Dawnlight's become a bureaucratic center just because I put in a civilian industries? Foreign powers are engaging right. in active hostilities. Oh. The Sutherian Entity has declared war on our ally, the Yen Alliance. Consequently, we are now at war with the Sutherian Entity. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Sutherian Entity, you done fucked up. You have done fucked up. You have fucked up now. Now you have fucked up. All right. And we shall send our fleet to help our... Companions over this way. Send it straight to the heart of their empire. Sounds like a good idea to me. 
All right. So, so Therian entity has declared war on the Yan Alliance. Now we shall see which empire is stronger. Well, considering the Sutherian entity already has a gaping hole in their empire where we already cut them off, I mean, it's bound to not be in their favor. Especially considering we're also in the fray now. Dumbass. <laughs> okay. Senate floor is in session. It's for our thing! Hey! Cool. Nice. All right. Call in a favor. But they're already in our side. I mean, they're already there. I don't really need to call in the favor. Yeah, no, we're fine. We're fine, I think. Um, speaking of fleet, I just realized I added cruisers... Oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. The ship design that was auto added was Calliope. <laughs> okay, game, are you trying to out me as a deadbeat already? <laughs> Is that what you're trying to do? I didn't even get to... Okay. I was planning on doing something later, but, uh, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I'm kind of a fan of Calliope Mori, <laughs> but I didn't expect this to happen. <laughs> oh, shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, <laughs> it doesn't stick with the naming convention either. But, uh... <laughs> oh, boy. I was going to do a bigger thing later where I was going to name a planet. And, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, hey. Well, it's out and about now. I'm a fan of Calliope more. <laughs> I'm a fan of Kali Kawaii Shinigami. Oh, boy. Thank you, game, for exposing my balls. <laughs> uh, thank you ever so much, game. Just expose my balls to the entirety of my community. Thank you ever so much. <laughs> but this name's not going to stick because I had a different naming convention in... <laughs> consideration but <laughs> uh... now I have outed what my plan was for later so now y'all know oops there we go uh, this carrier extreme range and fire its long range weapons I this is new this is new as well. The carrier combat computer. This is new. This never used to be a thing. Stay at long range and fire its long range weapons. Huh. Artillery. Um, artillery. Artillery. And broadside. Okay, well, multiple things, <laughs> multiple things have come up. I've changed a lot of things. Uh, and also, it is the end of the episode, and my headset's going to keep screaming at me it's going to die. So, I'm going to end this episode here for right now. Uh, <laughs> what a way to end the episode. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments. It can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and trying to get myself put together and build this cruiser the way I want it to. Um, 
and also, you know, figure out what I want to do in this new war against the Sutherian entity because they started it. So now we're going to jump in and help finish it with our buddy, the Yeon Alliance. And uh, yeah, we'll just see how it goes from here. For you, 